the whole concept of how ultrasound is generated is by a reverse piezoelectric effect. What happens is the electric current that, that flows down to the transducer, which you see on the right side of the screen there, goes to a crystal. The crystal is at the tip of the transducer. It's a very thin piezoelectric element. And then that goes right down and generates um, a signal. And that signal is sound waves, ultrasound waves. And by definition, ultrasound waves are greater than 20 kilohertz. And that goes down into the tissue. Then that signal bounces off structures that are in the tissue, comes back up towards the transducer, and the signal hits the transducer element, the same exact piezoelectric element that sent out those signals is now receiving those signals, and it generates a varying electric potential depending on how strong the signal is and, and how, uh, how much is hitting it. And that's assigned a grayscale when it gets back to the computer, and then it's converted to an image. That's like ultrasound 101. Right? That's your skeleton of, of ultrasound. And it goes right back. So the signal that you get, the signal that's, that's received by the ultrasound unit itself, um, it would be ideal if it was just this one beautiful little um, uh, signal, one beautiful little thing. So if every single um, cell could be identified, would, that'd be wonderful. But it's really um, a bunch of noise. And what the essence of what you're trying to do when you're using ultrasound, I mean, it's like looking at a TV screen you know, from 1973 that's tuned to channel three. It's all gray and white and something in between. And you're, what you're trying to do is make out a signal that's in there somewhere among all this gray and white noise. So the higher the signal, the more you're tuned into the channel that you want to be tuned into, the more you're going to be able to see. The more the channel's kind of toward channel three, it's going to be more noise. And what you end up in ultrasound is this compromise between signal and noise. So a high, a high signal to noise ratio, if you've got a lot of signal on your numerator and a very low noise, um, is going to be when you can really discriminate structures. Now forget about what's on the screen. Just look at, look at some things in particular. You see that there's a, a dark triangular structure here. There's another darker structure here, OK? There's some brighter structure here. And then there's a bright circle in the center. Well, that circle happens to be the median nerve. And sitting above the median nerve, these darker areas are the musculotendinous junction of the uh, FDS, right? so the flexor digitorum uh, superficialis. is sitting right above the median nerve. But the reason that you can see the median nerve so well is because you have something that's dark against something that's bright. And when you have contrast in your picture, you get to see your signal better. So you get more signal when you have more contrast in the picture. This is going to be a really relevant concept later. So I want to just make sure that, that you guys have that down pat. Anything that's, that diminishes your signal, that anything that interferes with it, is something that absorbs the sound waves, the ultrasound waves, something that obstructs the ultrasound waves. And a good example would be the heel. Right, and, right. So the heel on the, at the at the bottom, right under this is the calcaneus right here. Right under that is a big thick layer of fat, and that fat's dense. And not only is that fat dense, but when you put ultrasound on that fat, it absorbs a lot of the a lot of the sound waves. So sound waves try and go through the fat, they turn into heat, and then you get a little bit of graying. So now everything kind of looks a little bit more gray, and it's sort of faded. This would normally be very bright and white, but things shift more toward the gray side because of the obstruction of the signal, as opposed to this, where you see nice and bright whites that are, that are a little more crisp. And you see this nice bright white line up here, which is the surface of the muscle as it interfaces with the subcutaneous tissue. But then down here, everything just appears more shifted toward the center, more shifted toward the gray, the gray scale. And you don't get those bright darks, and you don't get the bright whites anymore. And you lose your signal.